I have dedicated my professional career to the study and control of arthropods. Well, hello, theists. Oh, see, I can steal your intro, too. I thought that was really funny, by the way. I, I, I really did. It was, it was uh, five stars just for that. Um, I'm, I'm going to address it. I had made a video last week. I've kind of been sick, so I haven't had a chance to um, to respond appropriately to your, your whole video. I made a video last weekend um, about one part of it. So I'm going to go through. Um, I'm going to try to do this in one part simply because I know it's annoying to have, you know, you, you, you say one thing and I make 50 minutes of video in response to it. You know, I understand that can be tedious. So, all right. Um, first of all, about Mendel's accountant. Um, I think you must have misunderstood what I was saying about it um, because I'm not saying since it doesn't agree with my point, it must be garbage or this one's bad and all the other ones are good or they prove evolution and such because that's not the case. I'm, what I was saying is, is that... Um, Mendel's accountant, the bug with it is that it is designed you, it, you can't duplicate a real world or a practical real world population with it, okay, if that makes sense um, because of the fact that you start off with a bottleneck situation, you start off with a reduced population your species are doomed to extinction, no matter what other parameters you changed, okay the reality is populations that hit that bottleneck in real life do go extinct quickly. That It does indeed demonstrate that. But in terms of modeling, most populations aren't that small, if that makes sense. Okay? So in, in essence, the program is designed to give the result that the designers wanted it to give, as opposed to other modeling software in which you can change the population size from two if you wanted to duplicate Noah's Ark, for example, to 10 million if you want, you know, you, whatever. You can change that parameter. You can't change it in Mendel's accountant, okay, if that makes sense. So that that that's the flaw with it that I was trying to just to get across. Now, about quote mining, um, this is, uh, you, you understand, I know you understand quote mining. You, you mentioned that. Um, the reason that you talk, I know you quote them to, you say to show that we don't agree, but what I'm getting at, the reason that those are quote mines is that they're not accurately reflecting what the person speaking, like your example you showed when, with Darwin. Um, they're, that's not what the author was intending. That, that they're taken out of context. And like in many cases, like in so was it Stanley was one of them, one of the ones. Um, Colin Patterson's another one, where they're discussing one subject, a completely different subject, and then the quote miners will take that quote and go, and on the subject of evolution, Patterson admits, and then they'll say something. He's like, no, he's actually talking about Linnaean taxonomy, naming things. He's not talking about evolution. Things like that. And so, it, it, it's if you look at, the reality is we have a consensus. We, we, we do have a consensus. These, a lot of these things, a lot of these quote mines, um, the, and the reason that we get kind of a little uh, tetchy about them, I guess is the word, um, is that they're talking about, you know, we, there'll be disagreements about the mode and tempo of speciation, you know, do, do how stable are individual species before they morph into another species, you know, um, is ring species the rule or is it, you know, a notable exception? These kinds of things we, we're discussing. Those are active, open arguments, discussions in evolution circles. We all agree that evolution occurs. We all agree that natural selection and, genet and um, genetic drift are major, major parts of the how this occurs over time, okay? There, there's no, we don't disagree with that concept. Um, and I'm saying we, I mean, I'm sure there are some people that do, but that's that's a whole different issue. Um, so anyway, the point is, is that there, there is a consensus. Uh, we do, th the arguments or the discussions that we have are on really minor details, and more often than not, it's minor details in certain contexts, okay? Um, because in some populations, one method, one type of speciation may be going on. In another population, we can demonstrate other types of speciation are going on. So, um, you know, if somebody's looking at ground squirrels and their their adaptive radiation into the Great Plains, some scientists might say, this population invaded from, I don't know, Mexico during the last ice age. Other people might say, no, no, they evolved here. So there's a discussion on that particular case. None of them doubt that evolution occurred, if that makes sense.
Just like you said, most Christ, Christians in general, no matter what their disagreements, all agree that Jesus is the Son of God and rose from the dead and such. Same thing. Basic thing, All of, it really is an agreement. And the quotes that a lot of these creationists use are really designed to make it seem like that's not the case. They make it appear that we can't even get our story straight on the fundamentals when we do have our story straight with the fundamentals. Okay? Um, I'm going to just go get here. Uh, maybe, could be, I addressed that in the last one. We don't we don't talk in absolutes. We don't talk in provens. Um, it, it, it's just not what science is about. Um, origin of species. Or... You are reading Origin of the Species or read Origin of the Species. I'm going to tell you one right now. I could not have the more respect for you, and you are probably in the top one percentile of any creationist. In fact, you are the only creationist, only one, that I have ever met that's read Origin of the Species. In all of my, in, in over 30 years of discussing this issue, to talking to people about these, 30 years, 20 years, um, of being interested in this topic and meeting thousands of creationists, you are the only one that's ever read it or is reading it, and I, I that, that is so great. And I think you'll find, really, with little exception, most creationists they like to cut Darwin down, but the reality is they would agree with ninety plus percent of what Darwin said in there because he's really talking about change between species, which is what you guys would call change within kinds. So. The only issue you guys might take is he, he took that and extrapolated it to mean, um, you know, down through deep time. But that's one small part of his book. Anyway, great. Congratulations. Um, and about um, being corrected, that's awesome as well. And about shaking your belief in Christ, that's not my goal. Um, I know I know a number of people who are very strong Christians who are also accept biological evolution, even... Um, you know, 4.5 billion year Earth, whatever. I mean, they accept all of that, and yet they're still strong Christians. So, um, my, my, I, I have, I, I, all the power to you, if you've got a strong belief in Christ. I'm talking about where you actually are disagreeing factually with the scientific evidence. That's what I want to address, and that's my goal throughout with anybody I discuss things with. Um, let's see here. Not the book you. Oh, yeah, that was about that scientific creationism book. Um, I I was just guessing that you that that was your source simply because those that's kind of the origin of a lot of those the quotes and you all of them you named are right from that book. Um, but those are copied in lots of other uh, lots of other sources and books as well. So I just was taking a guess. I'm not wasn't accusing you of getting it from that book or plagiarizing that book or anything like that. I was just taking a guess there. Um. Anyway, I, I thank you again for your uh, really thoughtful response. I really appreciate it, and I do, um, you know, it, if you doubt, I, I do have a, a great deal of respect for you. Um, you know, it, not just from this last video, but in general. I mean, you seem like a really decent guy, and you seem genuinely interested in learning. And I, and now that I know that you are reading or have read Origin of the Species, that I've, I, that's only increased in my opinion. So. Um, you know, it's it, it's a it's a great book. It's a little hard to read. I I am the first to admit that um, Darwin's style of writing isn't well. He's not concise, but of course I'm not concise either. But you know, it, 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 people have said um, that if somebody were to write Origin of the Species now, as Darwin wrote it, it would never get published simply because of the the scientific style is completely foreign to what scientific writing is now. Um, I think it's quite beautiful in parts, especially the the last um, few paragraphs. Actually, are, are some of the most amazing words ever written in science, in my opinion. But um, you know, it's 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 kind of tedious at times to read. It's kind of like reading a book of numbers if you've read that. Um, but anyway, so but uh, I guess that's all I have to say. I don't. There's no reason to make this. Um, more. Uh, I hope you. Uh, I look forward to more responses from you about about these things. I think we can. We've we've. I think we've demonstrated that you and I can have a civil dialogue. Um, that it's probably mutually beneficial. And I'm not going to respond to your second video. And it's not that I. I don't. It's not that I don't appreciate part two. I do. But it, it's it's um, preaching. And there's not. I have nothing against preaching or anything like that. But there's nothing in it I can really respond to. Um, you know, it didn't change my mind. Um, you know, it's just you know, it's not. I'll respond to the you know when you make factual points that I can discuss, agree with, or disagree with. But 
you know, when it's just when you're just when you're talking just pure theology, I can't really, you know, it's like that's your faith, it's not my faith, whatever. So, all right, you take care.